couple of these large artworks I've done here in the past, uh, this one painted on ply air for French television, uh, there were certain things I wasn't quite happy about, I weren't quite finished. And I'd forgotten that I was going to put in some large uh, oak leaves here that were coming in this corner, quite dark. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to help or not. It's quite nice having the light through there actually, but I want to see if that helps draw the eye in. I'd also like to make it a little more light around some of these areas to lead the eye through there a bit more. Just not quite happy about dragging, about moving through here. Um, and then I want to work on a, on a second piece which I painted, one of the first last paintings I painted on plein air when I came here, but it seems a bit unbalanced. And let's work on this one first of all. I'm going to use my filbert brushes um, and quite dark paint. Make sure I've got the right size brush for it because I need to actually make the brush marks some sort of size as the, that seems to be about right, as the, um, uh, the same sort of size as the leaves. Now, we've got different colours coming in for the darks here. We've got quite a deep blue warm green blue against there as well as it going almost black so it isn't just very dark leaves let's immediately I put in the oak leaf shapes with this brush this is the beauty of the filberts is that we can actually make the shapes with the brush these rounded shapes straight away that hopefully is going to lead the eye in a bit more here and I'm going to make it a bit darker yet these leaves were quite large coming in here, which is what my original intention was. Now, a bit darker still, so I'm going to take some deeper blue into that. Come to black yet later on. It's quite dark against that green. And these dark leaves come in here, nice big chunky ones like this. And that's helping, I think, to lead the eye in and through here. I know they come right into here because I painted those, literally painted those um, warmer greens here to be reflecting the leaves. It's an unusual composition then. These leaves coming right down through there. So I might have made a mistake, it might not work. I can't take it off really now. I have to really scrub it to get one off now. But I think it's, it's working all right. I'm going to put a little bit of, of black into that mix. Go a bit darker in places. A few cool, cool greens just amongst it there, I think, just to, just to have some reflected light coming through. Well, I want to catch that light a bit more. Let's see if we can make a very lovely light yellow green. To catch, to really catch the sunlight down into and towards the river here, which starts to match up here with these leaves here. I can link these two together. I hope now. So I've deliberately brought these leaves down here a bit more too into the river, just into the river there. We've got any bits of light just coming off of these. Back to some of the cools again that we're moving back in there a bit more. A bit more blue. We must try and keep the colours coherent, so I must be using the same colours throughout. Balance has become a little bit strange with this coming in here and it's, it's always so difficult to work away from the scene. I don't want to be taking the canvas back down there again. Okay. And let's try and balance over here a bit better. Put some more of this blue into here. Right through and up. And not too much there. I want to bring this blue through here to balance through to the river a lot more if I can. It's what, now it's what happens on the painting here that matters, not what's in front of me there. i to make it work here. So we have to take chances in life. Sometimes, and I took a big chance with this, let's see if I can make it work. It's quite a large work. If I don't get it right, it's 
Just some of thumb to say the least. Destroy this little bit of cloud, light cloud here. I think I wanted to come back in with some very light um, creams to, to really try and pick up this sunlight coming through. So just trying to get this to work better. Not happy with it. It's very difficult working on a picture when you're away from this subject and to balance this whole painting out. And I wanted to go to desperate measures and actually go to some cooler pinks into the sky. Quite the opposite of what you might expect me to do in this situation. I'm going to take a bit of magenta from the very light blue and just try and bring up some of these lighter colours into here with that shining through these lights against the as we had over here in fact it's just become a little bit too too cool and acidy down here I think that's balancing a bit better now let's bring that pink down into it some more yes that's uh, working with the opposites there is certainly Lightening it up and lightening it up. I mean, I still have to use some creams yet, as I was saying earlier. Use my finger if I need to and blend things and work back and forwards a bit. But to make the thing a whole, it's become a little bit separated out to this bit, that bit, the other bit. So I make the water river a little bit wider. And are we getting there? Hopefully now, yes, just starting to make it feel more alive and full of light. It wasn't quite there before. Hopefully we're really there now. I managed to balance it out. Certainly better than it was. Let me just pick up some of these highlights, reflections, both to find the distance and to get the feeling of the water. Smallest mark in the right place can make such a difference. I think I might have to put some darks into the water again if the water's maybe a little bit too bright. And, and I can go lighter and lighter, but there's no point in doing that if the darks will bring it back again. So I'm just going to take a smaller brush and uh, mix a little bit of a heap of blue green. Same, same sort of thing as we had in the um, leaves, actually. That would have dried out by now. Put it quite thin. Let's just see what we can do. Just need to bring in some of these darker colours amongst the ripples here, just to let these stand out a bit more. You see the difference that makes already. Um, because we're playing light against dark. That's the point. Crushed blue and a little bit of sap green. Quite dark just here. pick up these lights against the darks in the background. We'll work at it until we're happy. There's no point in trying to finish this thing unless we're happy with it. Take it off. Even so it's hot. A little bit of purple now. Let's try to get some warmer darks down into here. Which we have some quite strong warm darts coming in. And then we've got some branches there, and I was doing that and I was just feeling the way in there. Coming back to me now a bit. Other branches are coming through here. bit too strident just here to go back onto that and work on that just a little I think. Right into that I'm going to put a little bit of lemon yellow. Just uh, see what happens if we try and touch up this very light pink in places with a little bit of cream. 
I don't intend working it up this much, I know that, but once you start, that's the trouble, once you start it's hard to... One thing affects another, affects another, and so it goes on. And we get all these lovely little bits of light coming through down here, and the river suddenly comes to life. Just with a few of the right marks in the right places, that's what's so important. Too much pinks, too many creams, and not enough light blue. So I'm going to go back to having light blues come across there. Just one colour can make such a difference, so I've got to get it dead on right. And is it a warm or a cool blue? That's the problem. Let's just try that back in there. Makes such a difference. That yellow now. Take that yellow back to a blue. Oh, it's a struggle. It's always a struggle. It's not easy. People think we well, just go and paint it because you're good, but it's, <laughs> it's a struggle all the time. Sparkle in the water. So say it's a big artwork, so it's taking a bit to pull it together when I'm not actually there. I could be much more direct and bigger strokes if I were there. But I think almost done as much as I'm going to do with this particular piece. So let's just mix a very light cream there again. Green green. Just to touch in some of these really lighter. There's the sunlight just catching through here and there. We had that lovely time of the light just cascading through like this um, with the rain clouds and then a bit of sun and then a bit of rain. You have to watch these and the way that little bits of twig come down through and out of them. And it's a little bit darker in the foreground. Just a few darks here and there that I haven't quite worked out here. Bring the eye in. Could use a little bit of black and purple just down here. Uh, quite a bit darker than that. Just going to come back on this first one that we improved again and uh, soften this area just a bit. It's, it's become a bit too solid a lump of leaves there. It's hard for me to see it working at this angle as well. Greens into there and just see what happens. Let's go back into this colour here. What was it? Was it that? Try and find that colour again that's in the background. Just soften this back a bit with those rather than have it quite so strong. Because it's, it's almost too strong a block of leaves coming in there now. So I'm just going to soften it just a little. So we've hopefully got the best of both worlds, best of the previous painting and, and this one. Take that back a bit just there. Too, but I don't want it too strong just there. I'm going to just soften those edges a little bit. Otherwise it's just too big a, too big a jump. That's better, isn't it? It just lets that go through there. Rather than stopping it quite so abruptly, it just lets it go back a bit more softly into that corner. We'll re-photograph that and put it up again. There we are, that'll do it.
I don't very much like this painting at the time when I did it. And it seems to be balancing better when it's up here on the um, easel as well. I like the sky. There was always a strange imbalance to the water somehow. It was curving and twisting off. So I want to look if it can be improved by the composition. <clears throat> right, moving on to this second one then. I've got a couple of shots here of the river. And even on the photographs, they seem a bit unbalanced as well. But not as much so as the way that this one is. Um, the curve, the going round and up into there. I do need to adjust that. Um, so I'm happy enough with the sky. I'm not sure about this side here. I might need to bring these trees up more. So let's start with a nice big brush and uh, work that up immediately. It is varnished as you see, but, but I tend to use water-based varnishes deliberately so that I can paint up through them like this if I, if I need to. So I'm going to bring this sky right up here straight away. And almost immediately that starts to balance things better, which is nice. Up into there, right through here, down, that tree's coming up there. Take some sap green and ultramarine blue. Work up this. These lovely poplar trees and you know, the sorts of withies and things that are going on behind there. Let the light just glow through in places. Right down into here. Can't remember the colours I was using at the time, but it can't have been far off these. And already I think we've improved the composition and it leaves the eye in better. Okay, so we've got a better composition now already. We'll look at this bit of river in a minute, but let's carry on working here. Take some more yellow with our green. Work up these lovely sunlit areas across here and down here. I'm happy to bring out some lights, but light yellows and things in a moment again, just to bring the sunlight back again, because we've lost them all together. That comes down there. Right, we're getting there. It's, um, I think it's already improved it. At least I hope you agree with me. This is in one of the photographs. We've got a lot of that water weed growing up into here, which I want to make a bit more of in a minute. And we'll bring that water weed into there in a minute. Let's bring those ripples out. I'm tempted to lose this bit altogether here because I can bring the water reed down there more now and bring the composition out this way a bit more. And I'm going to bring the, the bank out more. Let's try and get a nice light green going on there with our yellow and emerald. Probably too strong, yes, but a bit of white in that. Oh yeah. Let's try that better. It's quite a strong yellow green. Comes down through into here. A little bit more green in it, maybe. Or I could use turquoise the same to do it. There we go. With that same loose style as I I had in the actual original, and here wants to be a bit brighter as well. But a light tree there is much lighter back here than all these. And the greens reflecting down to the water will be a bit lighter there. So quite a few changes to make. With the greens coming in and through, reflecting down a bit more than they, they were before. The basic composition of the river hasn't changed that much. a bit more of these leaves and things here. Okay. The leaves hit the skyline here. I want to soften that back and put more blues into there in a moment. And let's look at the way these lovely bits of weed curl out here. And hopefully these are going to lead our eye in more to what I'm after. 
this. I prefer that composition already to the one that was there before. The eye goes in there much, much better now. Much more happening this side of the river than I had last time. And here. To balance it more. I not do any harm to go back on a painting if you're really not happy, and I never wasn't. Um, I haven't been, there's, you know, I've been unhappy with this. Well, it was like right when I was actually out there painting it there and then. But then when I... Now, that comes down there, that bit of reflection. It also comes in under the trees here a bit more. So that we are in much better balance now. I want that turquoise to be more yellow, so I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, make it whiter and a bit more green. Just see if I can make this colour down here a little bit more turquoise green. And down here, there it is. I much, much prefer this to the one I did. Perhaps rushing a bit then. Much better balance of this one. Look at that back into here now and soften down these areas. Take them back a bit. Push these colours so that we don't need to do a lot more actually where it's going. It's coming together so quickly now. Much deeper down here will be the gentle and the blue. Really make those other turquoisey blues work a bit more, a bit better. Don't forget your vertical marks as well as your horizontal when you're working with water like this. Don't just make things all horizontal or colour, really push the colours. So I'm doing this now so I can just see more colour again and push it again. Come back with my purple and uh, turn into some of this with the purple and Prussian to really find. Right, I've seen about the light green, I need to go back to that now. Emerald and a little touch of lemon yellow, white. Let's see what we're going to get. Don't want it too, but too much. Yet. Let's just see how that goes. It's quite light just here. Green, in other words, pistol just down here. A stream of weed, feeling this coming in under here. And then, where it's very light, and the flowers just start to. with it then we painted it out down here. I think it took out too much just to really do it. Just little subtle touches I think is all we need. And I think we're almost going to leave it at that because otherwise I'm going to be overworking it. I won't be doing that, we'll just tickle up a few more edges here and there. Well there we are, I think that so I don't want to overwork it, I think that's about as far as I want to go with it. So a little bit more. And we'll call that one improved. Sounds like a shotgun. So hopefully you'll agree with me. 
this one now is a better composition, it doesn't twist and tilt off. And I think we've pushed the distance and also felt the surface more.